Hi everyone, welcome to tutorial 45 of our introductory Python for image processing tutorial series. Now in the previous tutorial, I talked about color spaces and in this tutorial, let's actually apply, use that to apply grayscale filters to color images. What I mean is a lot of uh, filters in scikit-image and OpenCV are designed to work with grayscale images. So you end up reading your color images as grayscale. So some information is lost. So what if you want to apply it to color images? So let's talk about that. First, let me actually quickly mention how it's done. And then we can go into our spider IDE to apply it. Now, uh, you, can, you can have a look at this uh, color image. Again, this is very typical in microscopy. If you're working with electron microscopy, obviously you are working with grayscale most of the time, but with light microscopy, you may be, whether it is fluorescent or wide field light microscopy, you will have to deal with, or you'll be working with color images for the most part, even though individual channels are grayscale images, but that's a separate discussion. Okay, so now if you want to apply Sobel or median or histogram equalization, how do you do that? Because you have three channels of information here, red, green, and blue which means if you want to apply it, the first method is to apply to each channel. Apply your uh, Sobel to red, to green, and to blue, and then combine these individual channels. But if you do that, your, your output will look a bit uh, unrealistic, cartoonish, and a bit weird, yeah? Now, the other method, by the way, if you really would like to do just nuclear counting, right? So how much uh, of this blue nuclei you have, then this is great. Now you don't have to convert you just need to extract the blue channels and go ahead and uh, start counting your nuclei or segmenting the nuclei. Now, if you want to apply some of these medians and Sobel and some of the other filters or other operations, you got to convert your RGB into either HSV or LAB. Again, stick with one, let's say HSV. Then apply whatever the function uh, to your V channel, the value channel or L if you're using LAB, okay? And once you apply it, combine the uh, channels again. Like, okay, you split this HSV into H, S, and V, apply it on V, and then combine these, which is uh, uh, CV2.merge, if you are using OpenCV, and it merges all the channels back again once the operation is done. It is a lot of code, but I'll show you one trick uh, how to actually use uh, a predefined scikit-image decorator to do this uh, task in an easy way. So let's jump into our spider IDE here. Now, again, as usual, I've written a few lines of code, uh, so let's just go through those. These are all the libraries I'm just importing. Don't worry about it right now. The only thing you uh, look at is, okay, I'm importing an image called Mona Lisa.jpg, and I should give the credit. I went to Google search and typed Mona Lisa and then copied an image from this Google search, okay? Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and type this. I thought of actually showing this on one of the microscopy images, but it won't make the uh, case a bit strong, I should say. That's the reason I'm using, uh, I, I'm using this uh, example. So uh, let's run these lines of code up to this point, and it should be pretty straightforward. This is an image of uh, unsigned integer eight and 256 by 256 by three. Again, by default, scikit image reads this as RGB. So three channels, red, green, and blue, okay? And I'm using scikit-image version uh, uh, 0.17.2, okay? So one of the latest ones as of uh, May 2020. So now try to apply Sobel. And how do you do that? By importing filters from scikit-image and filters.sobel and apply it onto your image array, yeah? This operation failed on my previous scikit-image uh, version 0.15.2, I don't know what they have done in the latest version, but this seems to work. That doesn't mean it's right. Let's go ahead and run it. Normally it should fail, but in this case it actually worked out fine. What's going on here? So let's go ahead and do plt.imshow. Okay, plt.imshow. And uh, I just call this try to apply so bell. Okay, let's go ahead and have a look at this. So now if you look at this, okay, I'm not plotting it here. In fact, I chose to plot up here so it's a bit easier for you guys to see. So there is it, and Sobel is an edge detection filter, and this is not doing that job. So I have no clue why this is working, to be frank. I just upgraded my scikit image, created a new environment in uh, here, and this can be dangerous. I'd rather this fail than actually do something and I don't know what it did you'll know what I mean. So to apply this, I mentioned separate the red, green, and blue channels and apply filter to each channel. 
or convert RGB to HSV and apply the filter to V channel. Either of that is okay. If you watch my previous tutorials or one of the previous ones, you know how to do that. And I don't want to show that part. I want to show you something new because to do that, that's still trivial, too many lines of code, but it's still, it's still possible. But uh, what we'll do is use the predefined decorators in scikit image. Let me copy and paste here. So let's make this in the middle of the screen so at adapt rgb this at sign is a decorator this is again a new concept that i'm introducing but uh, let's not talk about how to write decorators because it can be a bit tricky and challenging and you need a bit of uh, good programming knowledge to do that even for simple ones probably okay but these are modifiers to functions Okay, so the decorators, all you have to think about is decorators are modifiers to functions. Think of it as a function of a function. So here I'm defining a function to, uh, to, to perform Sobel. Uh, you know, so all we are doing is, okay, this function is called Sobel. Each, whatever that function name is, right? Sobel each, and all it's doing is it's applying filters.sobel, the same thing that we tried to apply here, filters.sobel, onto an image and returning it, okay? This part is no different than what I've done here, except I put it in a function form. What this part is doing, adapt RGB each channel, what that is doing is modifying this function, yeah, by doing something up here. How is it modifying? Again, if you want, you can go to uh, the documentation and then you can actually check it out. But it's uh, applying this function to each channel so when I do this, again, I want to repeat this. When I apply this, it's applying this function on each channel in an RGB image. It's applying it to R, G, and B, and then merging it. So it's splitting the channels, applying the function, and then merging it to give us a uh, RGB image. So this is making our life easy, so we don't have to write those lines of code. Same thing, they have the, another variation of this, which is again, adapt RGB, same decorator, Okay, with a different uh, way of doing it. Now it's called HSV value. So in this case, they're pretty much the same. They're applying this function to not all HSV, but only to the value channel, V channel, and then merging it back, just like we wanted to do it, okay? Let's actually open up the source code for this adapt RGB so we can make this uh, or understand this point a bit better. So here it is on their GitHub uh, repository and let's actually zoom in a bit so you can see uh, again this is this is uh, our uh, adapt RGB yeah so you can actually have a look at this now they're defining the decorator again let's not talk about how to do decorators but if you look at the HSV value for example that is when we apply this HSV value, what is it actually doing? It is reading this image and converting the RGB to HSV, just like we wanted, and then taking the channel number two, which is uh, zero is H, one is S, and two is V, right? So it's taking the value and it's copying it, and then it's applying whatever the filter that we actually select, which is our whatever the function that we define, and then once it's applied, it actually converts it back or merges it back into this original and it actually returns, converts it back from HSV to RGB. Well, it merges the value with the H and S channels and then it's converting that HSV to RGB. So our output would be an RGB image. So the input was uh, RGB, output RGB. Same thing with each channel. It's applying it to individual channel, yeah? So each and every channel here. So getting back to our code, this is the easiest way to actually apply this. And now that we defined these two decorators or Im, uh, imported the decorators and functions, again, I hope I'm not making this more complicated than it is. All we are doing is defining a function and just applying a uh, decorator. So let us uh, do a couple of things. Uh, let's not convert to gray, but let's actually go ahead and uh, apply this to uh, both ways, okay? Sobel on each channel and Sobel on HSV. For edge detectors, uh, let's see how, how it is. I don't wanna predict, but let's go ahead and see. And after this, let's go ahead and plot it, okay? So I'm going to run all of these lines. And now this line, again, each channel image is nothing but our Sobel each 
and input is our image so well each is what this function right so this is what we are importing same thing here so well hsv so now let's go ahead and uh, uh, plot let's stick with uh, plt in show each channel image okay i should have come up with a better name but let's stick with this so that now looks like a sobel image right so now you can see the edges except it's still a bit weird because you have all this color information going on but definitely better than applying it on our uh, uh you know color image not knowing what's going on so uh, here this is definitely a sobel edge image now let's actually show hsv hsv where we apply it on our value channel okay so let's look at the hsv value image so there you go so this is the hsv image uh, where uh, all the channels are merged back so again these are the two now outputs that we are looking for so this is how easy it is uh, i would like to show this on a different type of example i mean of course in this case i'm showing you i'm showing you uh, the sobel and uh, you know which is part of our scikit image now let's actually do something using uh, cv2 so i would like to use median blur from cv2 open cv and again i'm uh, using adapt rgb each channel okay so let's actually do it on each channel first and then we can do hsv later uh, if needed but let uh, let's let's just do it on each channel and then i want to show you one other example by not making this video too long Okay, so how did I do this? Now, for median image, I have some parameters that I need to define. So that's why I kind of added an extra line here. Let's create more room so it looks nice and easy for you. Okay, so same approach. Adapt RGB each channel, and I defined a function called median each, where the inputs are going to be image and a value called K. Let's say the kernel size in this case. Yeah, you have to define that for your median image. And my output image is nothing but your cv2.medianblur. We are applying median blur. Again, watch my previous tutorials on uh, median and Gaussian and all those filters. The input, it's applied on our uh, image and uh, with a kernel value of K, whatever we supply. And what this function re uh, returns is an output image. So now let's go ahead and call that. So median using uh, cv2, or you just can call it median. Anyway, is median each, which is this, image and I'm supplying my K to be three. Okay. And now I'm plotting it. That's it. So this shows you how. So there you go. So that's your median filter. So is it working? Let's change our median to 13, a value of 13. So now you should see a bit more blurred image. Yeah. This is how easy it is to apply on a color image. And you see how nice the colors are actually retained actually. So the colors are very nice. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, it'd be interesting to apply this on uh, HSV image. I'll let you do that exercise, but let me show you one final thing here, okay? So here, histogram equalization, again, uh, looks like a lot of lines of code, but most of this is for plotting, okay? So what I'm trying to do here is again, uh, in scikit image exposure, there is uh, histogram equalization. Of course, even in OpenCV, there is histogram equalization. You can use any of those. So I'm defining two of these uh, uh, decorators, adapt RGB each channel, adapt RGB HSV value, okay? And we are doing pretty much the same thing uh, at both places, which is uh, defining a function, in this case, uh, equalized each. My output image is exposure.equalize histogram and input is image, okay? And the output is called output image. Well, it's returning output image. So I'm applying that and uh, calling it equalized RGB is again applying it on this image and I'm going to plot it. So let's do that. Let's actually plot this and see how the output looks like. And there you go. And the input actually you know looks somewhat has these type of colors and the output is this so this is the problem with applying something like histogram equalization on each channel r g and b because now you're stretching each channel but this image the beauty of this image is that all the colors are not equally stretched so you have to convert this intensity information into hsv to get the best result so that's what we are doing down here yeah adapt rgb equalize hsv and then let's go ahead and run it in fact let's plot all of these at the same time so we can see how so on the top left here is the input image this is our individual channels on the top right rgb channels and bottom is 
uh, just the HSV. So you see the color, how it retained this color information, even though you applied this histogram equalization. So the histogram is equalized, but uh, again, the colors are retained. So this is, a I thought was a uh, great image to illustrate the importance of using alternate uh, you know color spaces not just rgb uh, just if you want to if you're interested in looking at this image uh, in a larger view let's go ahead and run it so you can see this is the histogram equalized and this is the histogram equalized using rgb and this is the histogram you uh, this is the input image so this one is uh, much better okay so now you know how to easily apply functions that are specifically defined or designed for grayscale to uh, extending them to your color images. So uh, I hope you found this tutorial again to be useful. Please subscribe to this channel uh, so you can learn more such content. Thank you very much.